In this video, I will tell you about lay merge, lay del, and copy to layer commands of AutoCAD. So I'll start with the lay merge command. And using lay merge command, you can merge two or more layers into a single layer. And that will also move all of the objects of the source layer on the destination layer. So to make it clear, I'll start the lay merge tool. So expand the layers panel and select this icon so that is the lay merge icon you can also use its command equivalent layMRG so let's click on it and now click on the source object the object which you want to move so in this case I'll select this letter and that will select all of the objects which are on this particular layer and now press enter now click on any object of the destination layer so I'll select this object the purple one and click on it and now you'll notice that the color of this object changes and all the remaining properties of this object will also change and it will inherit the property from this target layer so if you want to commit to these changes simply select yes from the command line and we don't have red layer anymore so you can click on this drop down and you'll notice that we don't have that red layer which was named as text and all the objects of that layer are moved to this new C line layer. To undo the change, simply press Ctrl Z and we have this here, the text layer, which is here. Now let's look at the lay del command. So using the lay del command, you can simply delete some of the layers and also its objects. So it's not always recommended to use this lay del command but if required, you can use this command to forcefully delete the layers containing objects. So if you open this layer properties manager and if you try to delete any of the layer that contains object, for example, here we have this text layer. And as you know that the text layer has some objects. So let's decrease the size of this layer properties manager and I'll move it here. Now we have this text layer and all of these red objects are on this text layer. Now if you try to delete it using this layer properties manager, you won't be able to do that because the layer contains object. That's this third criteria. Now if you want to forcefully delete it, then simply go to this layers panel, expand it, select this lay del tool and now select any one of the object on that layer. And here we have it. All the objects from that layer are gone and also the layer will be purged. So if you want to commit to this change, simply press enter and select yes from the command line. And let's go to this drop down and we don't have that text layer. And also all the objects from here are gone. As I told you that there are some layers which are quite stubborn, for example, def points that cannot be deleted. But using this lay del tool, you can also delete this def point layer. Although it is not recommended, this is quite an important layer which is automatically created and it stores all the definition points of the dimensions. So I recommend you not to delete these layers, but still if you want to delete some of the layers which are quite stubborn and you don't want them, then you can use lay del command. So I'll once again press Ctrl Z to bring that layer back. Now let's have a look at copy to layer tool. So if you want to copy any one of the object from one layer to different layer, then you can use this copy to layer tool. So for that, I'll expand this layers panel and select this copy to layer. Now click on the object that you want to copy. In this case, I'll select both of these arrows. So I'll select this arrow and I'll also select this arrow we want to copy this arrow and now press enter now specify the destination layer or the layer on which you want to put these arrows so i'll select this c line layer object now it will prompt you to specify the base point so you can specify the base point and move these objects somewhere else and if you want to place it directly overlapping the first object you can simply press enter and we will have overlapping objects. So in this case, you may not find that overlapping object, but when you'll move your cursor, you will see this menu, which indicates that we now have two objects. So you can select the original one and you can erase it. Now you can see that we have an overlapping object. Let's select this one also and I'll erase it here. Similarly, I'll repeat the process from this side. So I'll select the polyline, I'll erase it and I'll select this polyline and I'll erase it. Now here we have it. So the objects are now moved to a new layer and they're also 
copied now if you don't want to do it in this way if you want to make a copy of that so you can do that also so once again i'll select this copy to layer option and i'll select both of these objects and press enter now select the destination layer and select the base point in this case i'll select this point as the base point and now i'll specify another point somewhere over here and here we have it so now the copy of these layers will be made at the point which we have specified and obviously these objects are on the new layer which we have assigned so you can use this tool to create new copies of the object on different layer so this was all about lay merge lay del and copy to layer tools of autocad